Welcome to another exciting episode of Who, What, When, Why, because when you're here, the where is always Wallingford. And today I'm excited to introduce Associated Press journalist Yusuf Pham. Thanks, ACB. It's good to be home. I know our conversation is more of a warm-up for you. That, yes, that, that's correct. I've been invited to deliver the commencement speech tomorrow at Moses Y. Beach Elementary. The Associated Press recently updated the story for the namesake of the school. Moses Y. Beach. As their founder. The founder of the Associated Press is from Wallingford? That's correct, ACB. Being an AP journalist with a connection to Wallingford played no small part in my selection to speak in Moses Y. Beach's honor tomorrow's ceremony. And for those in our audience who are unfamiliar with the Associated Press, uh, the AP News Agency bought together five New York City newspapers in the mid-1800s. All of them were interested in reporting on the Mexican-American War. This war literally reshaped the United States. Add in California, Nevada, Utah, and New Mexico to the Union. And not to mention parts of Arizona, Colorado, Oklahoma, Kansas, and I believe also Wyoming. Yeah. The general idea was for the five newspapers to pull together their resources to gather and share the news to rein in outlandish spending costs. The AP is now widely known for its commitment to objectivity and accuracy, all because efficient news gathering laid the original foundation for a public trust. Now, not to put any unnecessary pressure on you, but are you nervous? And I'll admit that being inspirational is a lot harder than it sounds. <laughs> especially when most people in town don't even know who Moses Y. Beach is. But, you know, I am of the humble opinion that Moses Y. Beach has been underappreciated and uncelebrated for far too long. His parents died when he was a child, and he was apprenticed to a cabinet maker. Moses kept working, and Moses kept saving, and eventually he bought his freedom. Since the road to success is usually a straight line, I imagine whatever Moses did next led him to greatness. I appreciate your sarcasm, ACB, because you nailed it. All it took was a short stint as an inventor with an engine that never made it to market. A brief journey as a steamboat captain, a paper mill innovator at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution, a newspaper publisher, a penny paper media pioneer in a race against time. And wait for this, ACB, a spy. A spy? For who? For us. Well, that's a relief. So now that we know a bit more about Moses Y. Beach, let's talk about this big speech of yours. What's it all about? Well, it's the story of my arrival in Wallingford as a boy and what set me on the path to becoming the journalist I am today. It's about our town, our potential, and my first primary source about me. Moses Y. Beach, and our Czech minus. <laughs>